Welcome back to the video series Introduction to Processing. In this video, we'll talk about mouse input. As before, we have setup and draw to do the, the draw is the animation loop. Uh, the mouse press method is a reserved method. It's used to process any mouse input. So as we are drawing our animation in the draw method, if a mouse is uh, pressed, then it will stop the animation, jump down to mouse press, process the code that we write, and then jumps back and resume the animation. Uh, we saw before that mouse X and mouse Y contain the current mouse position on the screen. And the system variable mouse press is a Boolean variable that has the value true if a mouse is currently pressed and false if no button is pressed. And the system variable mouse button is set to either left, right, or center depending on which button is pressed. Now, a uh, couple things that I want to clarify. There's also, so the mouse press a variable versus the mouse press method. It's a bit of confusing about um, these two uh, variable and method. So the value of the mouse press variable is true until the mouse button is released. In other words, if I press it and hold it, then mouse press will be true as I'm holding the mouse button. Um, however, the mouse press function it runs only once whenever I press a button. So if I press a button and hold it, then mouse press is called only once. Uh, and then if I release it and then press it again, then mouse press uh, function is called again. So one again, once again, mouse press is true uh, if I'm holding and pressing the button. Uh, and then mouse press is a function that gets called only once every time I press uh, a mouse button. Let's do an example and kind of show you how that works. So that's a little bit confusing. Okay, so before we had this uh, key press that we talked about in the last video, well now we're going to change that to uh, mouse press. And so let's do something uh, simple. Let's create again a position X and a position Y. And we're going to initialize this to be, say, the center of the screen. Height over 2. Uh, and then we're going to do something very simple. We're going to just draw the uh, ellipse or a circle at the position and let's make it say radius 50 okay so now if I press uh, the mouse I'm gonna do something simple I'm just I'm gonna change the position of the circle to be wherever the mouse uh, is currently located so so that means that as I'm drawing the circle, if I press uh, the mouse somewhere else, then the circle will move uh, to the, the new uh, position of the mouse. So for example, if I were to run this, let's actually do a fill, let's do a, say a red fill or something. Okay. All right, if I were to move uh, the mouse over here and press uh, the button, then the circle will jump to that new location. So again, if I press it once, then the mouse press method is called once. Now notice if I were to press and hold it down, then this is going to jump there. It's going to do it only once. Okay, so let's talk about uh, mouse press the variable. So again, this is the method that gets called once every time I press the mouse uh, button. So now if I were to say something like let's go back to here and let's say that whenever if I if my mouse button is pressed so again this is either true or false if something is, if the mouse button is pressed and if I want to know which mouse button is pressed I can look at the mouse button variable and say if that button is left then I'm going to do a certain fill let's say that if I press the mouse and the uh, the button is left and I'm, I'm going to fill it red and I want to keep doing these conditional and else if the mouse is pressed and the button is say right then I'll do a different fill let's do a, say a green fill okay uh, and then else I would do a different fill if um, 
let's say let's do this um, let's do a blue fill so that means that if I press with the left button then I'm gonna fill it red if I press with the right button I'll fill it green and if I don't press anything then it'll, the default is uh, is this else which will fill it uh, with the the blue fill okay so let's try that so again if I were to click it once it'll move to the new position now if I were to click it and hold it and let's click uh, with the left mouse button and hold it then notice it'll jump and then it'll fill it with the red color if I were to click and hold and pr click on my my right button then it'll jump and fill it with the green color so again I'm holding down the mouse right now so that means mouse press the variable is currently true if I release it then mouse press is currently false and then I, I do a, a default blue fill so if I let go of the mouse uh, button then this this will be false and I will default to the blue color and so we see how easy it is to kind of process uh, mouse inputs